Another important part of our company settings is currency management. With currency management, we can enable multi-currency, which means that our Salesforce org can handle different currencies from around the world. Setting up multi-currency is just the first step in setting up a way to accurately track different currencies and their exchange rates in Salesforce. While enabling multi-currency will let us to list different currencies, it's not enough for us to be able to track the different exchange rates and the changing value of the different dollars throughout time. Think about it like this. Let's say that you set up multi-currency. Fantastic, now your org can track different sales in Japan, New Zealand, and the US. But after a year, you realize that the dollar has changed and that they're worth different things. How do you update this? Well, you're going to have to do more than just enable your multi-currency. This is where advanced currency management comes into play. Advanced currency management allows us to track the exchange rates for each currency between specific dates and times. It's up to you as the Salesforce admin to manage this. So make sure that if multi-currency is enabled, that you're thinking about how you're going to track those exchange rates over time. And if you need to do that, then you need to set up advanced currency management. With just multi-currency enabled, you can list all of your different currencies and the exchange rate for each currency, but you won't be able to change that exchange rate over time, which is what advanced currency management is used for. If you just have multi-currency, then you will be stuck with the same exchange rate for all time which if your business plans to succeed and last more than perhaps a year, could be an issue. Once you have defined your list of currencies, you can make them active or inactive. If they're inactive, then they're not going to be in use in your org, but if they're active, then they are. 